Hello guys, welcome to Football Fan Den UK. Uh, doing a, a quick video with regards to Champions League draw for the group stages to keep you guys up to date. Obviously, you can go on the internet and do the research for yourself. Check it out if you wish to. Uh, but for those of you that haven't got the time, I thought I'd just quickly run through it. Uh, if you want to uh, like, share and subscribe, that will be very much appreciated, guys. Uh, but yeah, just a quick vid, as I say, just to quickly run through uh, the draw, which was made about 20 minutes, half an hour ago. Uh, so obviously, um, the uh, player awards, uh, I believe, uh, obviously, uh, Van Dijk has won the player of the season for the, for the men's player of the season. Um, and also, Lionel Messi has won the forward of the year. Um, not that I'm best pleased with that because I think that uh, Lionel Messi gets a, an edge just simply because he's UEFA's poster boy, in my opinion. Uh, he is a fantastic player, we'll never argue with that, but uh, he wins a lot of awards, uh, I think, just simply because he is the poster boy and that does not uh, exactly thrill me, guys, because I think that uh, every player should have a, a fair shot at winning a, an award, not just based on whether they're... Uh, you know, basically a poster boy, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, guys, so let's get into the group stage draw. Uh, we'll quickly run through it. I'll go through all the groups, obviously. But obviously, us as uh, UK football fans, more interested in what the UK clubs have, have been drawn in. Uh, but yeah, we'll run through them all. So group A is Paris, uh, Real Madrid, Club Bruges and Galatasaray. That's group A. Uh, group B is Bayern Munich, Tottenham, Olympiacos, and um, Red Star Belgrave, I believe that is, because uh, I cannot pronounce their other name, because it's a bit of a mouthful, so I'm sure that's Red Star, Bel uh, Red, uh, Red Star I, think, I think it's Red Star anyway, guys. Um, Group C, Manchester City, uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, Dynamo Zagreb, and Atlanta. Uh, so I believe that, uh, if I'm right, I believe that Shakhtar Donetsk have uh, now been drawn in the same group as Manchester City for three seasons in a row, if I am correct with that. Um, which is obviously um, means that them two clubs started to become a bit familiar with each other, uh, which could be an advantage to Shakhtar, but also could be an advantage to Manchester City. Uh, we'll have to see how things play out with that one, guys. Um, group D is Juventus, Atl Atletico, uh, Leverkusen, uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, so yeah, no UK, uh, no UK club in Group D. Uh, group E, uh, Liverpool, Napoli, Salzburg, and Genk. So yeah, Liverpool getting a reasonably easy group there. Well, not obviously not mega easy because they d did. Uh, have Nepal in their group last season and that proved to be a bit of a tricky tie overall. They both drew, um, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it was 1-0 uh, to Nepal in Italy and uh, then a 1-0 to Liverpool in the return game at Anfield. Um, so that uh, let's see that whether that's uh, going to be yet again another tight fixture or whether they'll be a bit more open with each other this season. Uh, due to the fact that they are a little bit more familiar with each other. <clears throat> so yeah, Group F, guys, is Barcelona, Dortmund, International, which is obviously Inter Milan, and uh, Slavia Prague uh, of Czech Republic. Um, and Group G is Zenit of Russia, Benfica, Lyon, and Leipzig. So yeah, that's a couple of interesting groups there. Um and then final group is Group H, which is Chelsea, Ajax, Valencia and Los Losco. Oh, I'm not familiar with that team. Losco uh, of France. That's all it's saying on my computer, guys. Uh, Losco. So I'm not sure what their official name is because it's not a team I'm familiar with. But yeah, very interesting uh, draw. Obviously, as we we'll quickly run through the uh, UK clubs again, um, Bayern Munich... Uh, uh, Tottenham, Olympiacos and uh, Red Star Belgrade is in Group B. So that is uh, it's doable for Tottenham, that group. Definitely doable. Um, obviously, the Bayern Munich game could be a bit tricky. 
but the Olympiacos and Red Star Belgrade, you think Tottenham would be able to get uh, good results in them fixtures. So yeah, I think Liverpool. Uh, sorry, I think Tottenham could um, could do okay in that group. Hopefully, they will uh, qualify for the uh, group for the knockout rounds. Uh, Manchester City in Group C, which is uh, against Shakhtar Donetsk, Dynamo Zagreb, and Atlanta. Atlanta being brand new to the competition, uh, so I believe. Uh, I might stand corrected on that, but as far as I know, it's the first time they've ever been in the Champions League. So congratulations to them for uh, getting into the Champions League for the first time, if that is the case. But yeah, uh, I would say that is a pretty easy group for Manchester City overall. Um, and Man City fans are probably not going to like me saying this, but they do keep getting some easy groups uh, over the last couple of years. I'm not saying every group that they've had has been easy, but that I've noticed over the last couple of seasons where they have got uh, in the when they have been in the group stages, they've had some quite easy groups. So um, I would say that's very doable for Manchester City. I expect them to qualify into the uh, into the last sixteen uh, quite uh, easy with that group. Um, and then we move on to Liverpool. Obviously, Liverpool against Nepal and Salzburg and Genk, and that's Group E. Um, so yeah, I think Liverpool will uh, get through that group uh, as long as they don't make themselves make what life hard for themselves like they did last season, guys. Because obviously they won the Champions League, which was absolutely fantastic. But I think they did they did cause themselves a few of their own problems last season in the group stages and only just got through uh, in on the last uh, game, which was uh, I believe uh, game week six or something, if I remember rightly. And they actually just nicked it by winning Nepal 1-0 at Anfield, which meant that they went through on, I think if I remember rightly, I think it was goal difference. Uh, but I could st I stand corrected, guys, for you Liverpool fans, if I've got that wrong. But I'm sure it was goal difference uh, that they qualified for that uh, for the last 16. But yeah, hopefully Liverpool won't uh, make a, a meal of it, shall we say, as they did last season. And finally, obviously... Chelsea in Group H against Ajax, Valencia and Losco of France. Um, so, yeah, that, that um, Valencia, a bit of a tricky tie. There's a few tricky games in that one, to be honest, um, for, for Chelsea. Because, obviously, Chelsea are under a transfer embargo at the minute. So, they haven't been able to strengthen the team in the summer. Um, so, yeah, there could be a few banana skins in that for Chelsea. Let's hope that uh, Frank Lampard manages to... Uh, get the players fired up for that but I, th I think he will most players are, are normally uh, well fired up for Champions League games so yeah guys that's that's about it for me like I said just a quick overview of the uh, of the group stage draw um think that most uh, most of the English clubs I think I think uh, possibly Tottenham and Chelsea could have the trickiest uh, trickiest um route to the group uh, to the last 16 shall I say uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely doable for all the uh, English clubs and I am just a bit gutted that we don't see a Scottish club in there, which is a bit disappointing. But fingers crossed we might see one next season, which would be absolutely fantastic, especially from my point of view, guys, because like I say, my channel is about all UK clubs, so I am desperate to start seeing Scottish, cl Scottish clubs uh, get into the group stages. But yeah, guys, that's about it from me. Um, as I say, if you want to check it out, it is on the internet under the uh, on the UEFA website. Uh, if you want to check it for yourself, but as I said, just thought I'd do a quick run through for those of you that haven't got the time to research it and uh, keep you in the loop with uh, regards to UK clubs and European competition. Um, there will be a UEFA Cup draw uh, later. On. I will keep my eye out for it and uh, get the details of that and try and get that video on tonight. But if not, I'll put it on first thing tomorrow first chance i get um so yeah guys hopefully you join me on the next video take care and i will see you soon